ever. <laughs> yes, it would. Welcome, everyone, <laughs> back to uh, the world of Mundus, where our party is currently figuring out what the fuck they're gonna do. No, they have an idea, but um, while uh, Arden, change your name back. Don't be lazy. Um, I did change my name back. As card and vengeance. Oh, that's just on the bottom. Yeah. I'm like it's not. I'm Oops. like it's not reflecting my end <laughs> or streams end. So yeah. Um, there, there we, we go. go. Yeah. That's better, card. I, I had it in the, like the rolling as <laughs> section. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Gotta do it in both. <laughs> yep. yep. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, Only Azeem. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, Poor Azeem that so... no one even called him by his name. Nope, just Turtle Boy. <laughs> turtle. Turtle. At least I wasn't the only one. Uh, I was known as Monica and you were Turtle Man. Yeah. I was Cat Man. So, yeah. you know, it's true. But, that was, but that's history now. <laughs> Yeah, and if you want to check out that history, visit the archives over on the Big Ripper YouTube channel. Link in down below. Uh, if I don't remember what happened, I mean I do, but I want to know what you guys remember. I want to see what you guys remember. So DM, who... I want. I Not would it. recommend. I would recommend you change the title of this stream because uh, we are actually in session ninety. We are. Yeah. When the heck did that happen? After last session, which was 89. Listen here, you little sh No, I'm kidding. Thank <laughs> <you>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Good, good catch. Good catch. I will do I'm just that. like, wait, episode 89? Am I on the wrong stream? <laughs> we went back in time. It's just, you know. We are indeed redoing episode 80. There we go. There we go. And then I'll have to... That's much better. Yeah, well... Episode 90. All right. Now we're no, all on track. <laughs> okay, thank you. Good catch. Because um, I apparently just dyslexic. Um, it's all good. Anyway, what do you guys remember uh, from the last time we did Dur and Dur? I didn't remember shit until about 10 minutes ago when I read back over it. Well, share with everyone else what you remember, and anybody else can feel free to pitch in where they see fit. All right. According to my notes, Dinoc did some combing through Xander's library early in the morning, or late at night, hard to tell. Um, he picked out a romance novel for his wife for when he finally brings her back, and then he searched for some spell scrolls. He wanted to know where he could find a reality break spell scroll. So he consulted the Pearl or Boon of Knowledge. And at the base of the Bone Guard Mountains, uh, well, that, that's where it started. The vision flew him eastward and went way across the continent to a humongous uh, tree that extending, extends upwards, got thick branches, you know, think of like the Deku tree from Zelda. Um, there is an impossibly large humanoid <laughs> figure that sits upon a recess on this tree that's guarding this information. Th and then uh, Dinox started looking around the library for scrolls that are there. Um, let's see. Pretty much any, just about any spell at third level or lower we could find in the library. So he got a scroll of Galder's Tower. Then we, then we woke up, yeah, so this is overnight. Mm -hmm. Um, we had our coffee and, uh, let's see, da, 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 important stuff. Da, 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 da. I went to go look out the library, um, because I was allowed to pick out something as well. And I found a scroll for Wither and Bloom. I apparently do not have it in my inventory though, but it's a, it's a spell that sounded interesting. So I'd like to pick it up for my next level. Um... I do believe it is in the bag of holding, which I have. Fair. So it won't because, be used. Yeah. So it won't be okay. used, and... So then Dinoc informed the rest of us that he'd like to travel to this tree to claim a part of that forgotten spell. Um, but it's going to take us roughly one week to go there and back. 
during during this time, Xander is going to craft a crystal that Valinar will be using for the spell Scrying. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So we have to write up a spell scroll of Scrying for Xander in exchange for the crystal. Um, Dinoc went ahead and stacked on his bottle of ca controlled chaos and and the scroll of scrying so that uh, we could get the crystal and the two spell scrolls that, that we found in the library. And then I went and handed off a vial of uh, Doma's blood, which was the angel that we slew uh, a few sessions back. And then once we figured out where we were going, um, Xander let us down a ramp. He's just like, wee! And out, and out we went, all the way down to the base of the mountains. So Where, where did we come out? We came out... We came, we came out through the cliff face. <laughs> we came the out literal, through his nose. The literal cliff face. <laughs> we came out the cliff face's nose. Yeah. We were snot. That's... It's not funny. <laughs> so then Z Xander's like, good luck! And then jumps down down into a pitfall at the mouth of the cave and just disappears. No, he oh, walked no, he, back he into the into his pitfall trap. That's right, that's right. And walked back into his own pitfall trap. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and then we begin our journey towards the giant tree. Okay. And that's where we left <clears> off. <throat> Sorry, I am currently reading something. But yes, that sounds very good. Would you like to add that as a, a point of inspiration to your uh, group rerolls or just yours? Mm, give I'll it give it him. to the group. Okay. No, it's mostly you. Give it. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, because I just added it to the rerolls page and I'm not changing my mind. <laughs> I'll use it if I need it. <laughs> hey, Rip, question. Yes. Just, I'll take it, but I was just wondering if it was an error that I have inspiration, because I don't remember getting that. Yeah, you got it like three sessions ago. It was I did? Way, it was way more than that, Garden, but yes, you do have it. Um, and I haven't used it? What the hell? Okay. No, you. It. I forget what happened. I think I gave everybody inspiration or something like that for for something that happened, and I don't think you were actually present for that session. <laughs> oh, I did the recap as Asta. Oh, sweet! <laughs> oh, that's what happened. Yeah. Uh, so, uh yeah, I remember. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, yeah. It was God. horrible. I I tried to force it from my memory. Thank you for bringing it back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what happened. Like that, it was that was eons ago. It feels like I don't even remember what episode that was, but it was a long time ago. I think at this point, you've had that you've had that inspiration for a while. It was sometime within this year. I mean, yeah, right. but it's also <laughs> like you know we're already almost halfway through this year too. So exactly. <laughs> um, I want to say it was. Either early eighties or, or sorry, early yeah, early eighties or. Uh, oh, I thought okay. <laughs> like episode wise, I want to say it was like early eighties oh, or late seventies. Like, we have not been playing that long. I haven't even been around that long. I was you see, that. in our day, so. we had to physically get together and roll these m Actually, wooden yes. dice. <laughs> Back so. in my day, we all gathered around a table and stared at each other. <laughs> oh. With that. Been there, done that. This is easier. You, you guys. <laughs> it is. And, and while it may, may not be as personable, uh, sometimes not quite as enjoyable as being able to, you know, rib your friends around the table, uh, this is a lot of fun for those of us who live rather far away uh and it's yeah. just looking at rona <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah or have crazy busy schedules looking at half of us here i uh, only live an hour away 
<laughs> from who? To, from the nearest time zone. <laughs> I thought you were saying from the nearest town. No. <laughs> no, he I live actually too close to Houston for that. Yeah, actually, he lives <laughs> right. Berg. <laughs> Here's the address. Yeah. Anyway, uh, with that, however, you guys have. Um, you, the party, have been spat out of the mountainside. Uh, Ew. Roughly, I, I can't remember what I said it was prior, but I'm going to say it's roughly uh, early afternoon at this point in time. Meaning that you guys, right. Meaning you guys still have a good chunk of the day for travel. Uh, and because of the boon of knowledge and Dinox bullshit memory you guys know the direction in which you need to go so there is not much of an issue with your heading um there is however a slight issue of navigation so for the first leg of the journey as you guys hit the this kind of kind of thicker tree area this kind of forested area uh denser excuse me I had a burp uh kind of denser in uh th these trees i would like somebody whoever is leading the charge uh to make a survival check for me please uh considering dianok is kind of the compass he's gonna do it okay take some guidance yeah I'll uh, roll that d4. Oh, I didn't even look at the roll. Sorry, I was still on the other screen. No, you're no, uh, you're fine. Dinoc, you can go ahead and uh, roll a d4 to add to that. Um, I'll need it. I, I I know sometimes there's a little bit of a delay online, so I'm usually pretty good about <clears throat> pretty lenient on that guidance stuff. Twelve. Okay. Well, he also said it like as the dice were rolling, so I would right. Been... And I believe it would have been, it would have been, it, yeah, it, it's fine. As long as it's not like, oh, he rolled a nine. I'm going to guidance that. I'm usually pretty lenient on it. All right. So. So that's a 12. Yes. What were you saying, Bert? Uh, I was going to say, I was actually in my character sheet that whole time. I didn't even flip over to look till after I said it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, 12. Okay. Not bad. Um, you have a general idea of how, of the direction that you need to head, and you believe, um, well, I mean, you know you're heading in the right direction, um, and you believe that you are leading the party in a relatively safe, um, pathway. Okay. Um, and you guys travel for a little while, um... Or actually, you guys travel for a good period of time before eventually coming to uh, kind of a... No, I don't want to say a large, uh, but a, a modest clearing um, where there actually seems to be uh, an old... Uh, an old uh, remnant of a, of a fire pit kind of set up um, kind of out in the middle. There were... There are some stones that are slightly black um kind of sat in kind of a circle on kind of in the middle of this clearing um with kind of this slightly recessed hole uh, not terribly deep just a couple of inches uh looks like the the grass and dirt have been pulled away a little bit on that and kind of thrown to the side uh to create a small uh pit for the fi for a fire to set in um as evening begins to come you guys kind of gap kind of approach on this uh area what would you like to do do you know about roughly how long until until nightfall you would you would know that it's a few hours dinoc <clears throat> roughly three to four Well, we have the option of stopping here for the night, as it's there is an opportunity right here before us, or we could continue carrying on until nightfall, and who knows where we might be. But also... Who... 
made and left this. It looks like the remains of a camp. I want to check the fire pit to see if I can determine how long it's been out. Uh, either survivor survival or a nature check, please. Nature's my better option. <laughs> oh, well, there's my nat 20 for the night. Hmm. <laughs> uh, natural 20. It's been out... The 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 ground the ground in the area is cool to the touch. There doesn't seem to be any kind of lingering ashes or anything like that. Um, to the best of your knowledge, it's probably been out for several days. It would appear that this fire hasn't burned in several days. Whoever built this camp would be far from here. If you ask me, it feels safe for a nice long rest. Carden, give me a history check. With disadvantage, okay. please. Disadvantage, okay. Yeah, because you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> one. One. Okay. Uh, modified one. Modified. Okay. Good to know. Again, that tracks. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Harden has done fairly well on history checks before, though. <laughs> this is true. I mean, a 10 isn't a bad check either, but you had, you know, disadvantage. So. Disadvantage. Not, a ad not advantage. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. No, that, yeah, that checks. You look around and you see the, the, the clearing and you're like, oh, neat, the clearing. Where have you been this whole conversation? This is a clearing. <laughs> Good job. Yes, Good Carden. Job, <laughs> this is indeed a clearing. I, it's, I'm glad to see that your mind is clear as well. You would be surprised. Sometimes it might be a little bit too clear. <laughs> <laughs> wow, babe. <laughs> Love you. Bazinga. <laughs> It is so clear. I feel like I feel I could just see right through you for miles. <laughs> oh my god! I was talking about your character, not you. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, I'm dying a little bit from that one. Damn! I love it. Oh, Keep it going. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Let's keep keep it going, guys. Keep it going. I love this energy. If your mind were a fluid, it would flow like water. <laughs> Not to keep it going, I meant, but sure, yeah. <laughs> Might need a little bit of a canal every so often. Oh. Um. Well, as fun as this all is, Dinox's gonna pop in and check around for any remnants to see if he can figure out, like, not really so much who, but just if there was any remnants of previous residents. Um, yeah, sure. Let's see. I guess, I guess you can have your pick of investigation. No, you're going to want investigation. You're, that's your best yeah. roll. Just roll that. Eh, 14. That's not terrible. It's not bad. There, the. I know, but looking at that 22 there, that'd be much better. Mm, <laughs> yeah. With, with the 14, you would know that the the people who would have come through here prior would have probably numbered somewhere probably around like 15 to 20. Um, based off of a couple of boot prints, there, there appeared to be at least a couple of them that were very 
at the very least heavy set um and they seem to have been traveling gotta get my directions right kind of westward from where you guys are which is kind of in the direction the opposite direction in us. which you're in which you're heading correct Ah, oh, there's my whoop scale. So it's going in the other way. Mm hmm Question, is this a previous camp from us? Of uh, 15 to 20 people? No. Hmm. Oh, I didn't hear that part. I'm oh. sorry. No, you're you're fine. I, you're fine. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Card in my count is five. <clears throat> no, your your keen mind clearly tells you that you have not camped here before. <laughs> well, Dinoc has keen keen mind. Rom does not. He has the opposite. I'm aware. Well, I mean, we could camp here if it's a good time for camping. It's a little early, but... Um, actually, it's like early evening, but... Before what? we decide to camp here or not, the Alnar is going to ritual cast Commune. Ooh, okay. I actually did not know I had this spell prepared, but apparently I have it prepared. Uh, three questions answered with a yes or no. Okay, so you, uh, why don't you kind of describe how your, what this, um, ritual looks like as you sit down and kind of prepare this, uh, slight ritual for, for your, for yourself to contact your deity. What does it look like? It's take out. Uh, do I even actually hang on? Do I have candles? I don't remember. You should as part of as part of the priest pack. Uh, I I have incense. I, I sure. We'll candles. say yeah. Yeah, we'll say you have candles. All right. I'm gonna take out candles. I'm gonna kind of lay them out in a massive circle, light them all, and sit down, and just almost kind of meditate with with my hands wrapped, not really in a completely around it, but kind of making a circle around the holy symbol. And after, I guess, ten, ten minutes, I guess, because ritual. Mm -hmm. And then he's just going to start asking his questions to be answered by a disembodied voice, I guess. Mm -hmm. And because uh, you're, you're, light, you're a light domain, so as you kind of yes. sit there for a moment, uh, the rest of you guys see um kind of the the parts of Valinar's skin that is visible to the rest of you begin to kind of glow this ever so faint like ye soft yellow like warm light and Valinar what are you as doing as he he, <laughs> he there is no response Valinar technically you do not hear him um, there, uh, if you cast a spell more than two times, okay. Um, uh, and you have three questions. What is your first question? Well, the first question is, is this place safe to camp? You, hmm. You feel this, the, like, you feel this warm sensation wash over you, like the bright sunny day of a summer day kind of wash over you, giving you the re a reassuring yes. Okay. Second question would be, um... <laughs> Do the people who camped here have ill intent? 
referring to the previous party. Yeah, the previous group that used this site. A sensation of a kind of a cloudy, cloudy summer day would kind of swing through the area for you, and you would perceive this as more of an unclear answer. And just as a last question, um, are we on the right track? And, and Valinar is kind of leaving that more open-ended. Mm -hmm. He kind of has multiple meanings with that. Mm -hmm. And this is just me thinking. Um, yeah. You would get the sensation of a like a partly cloudy day where there are moments of bright light and warmth, but there are also times of kind of this cool, cooler uh, time period when the sun would be behind the cloud. Giving you the idea of unclear, but mostly yes. And that's okay. probably the best way I can put it. Okay. All right. And as you, as you kind of finish speaking these questions out loud uh, to the rest of you, receiving no visible response, uh, his as his eyes begin to you know slowly flutter open, the light on his skin returns to this his normal the normal hue. Um, oh, it, it's worth noting Valnar is still wearing his sunglasses. Of course, but uh, as you're opening your eyes. Yeah. You open your eyes to Dinoch waving his hand in your face. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Long story short, this place is safe to camp. But if anyone returns, be careful. Okay. How? Um... Best way to describe what I just did, I talk, I talk to guys, kind of, sort of. Uh, he... What? A... Yeah, we, Dinoc, we've been over this divine magic bullshit. <laughs> My God liked me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing should come as a surprise to you anymore, Dinoch. We all know that Valinar is a somewhat holy man. <laughs> uh, somewhat. We all know he's a heretic. Ah! Harry ticks uh... are extremely dangerous. <laughs> yes, especially when they can cast Fireball and have anger issues. <laughs> So, I guess it's settled. It's safe to camp here. Perhaps we should set up. But never return. And start figuring out how to make that scroll. Yeah. <clears throat> so, as you guys begin to set up camp for the evening, um, and uh, Valinar begins to... Actually, because Dinoch would have to teach him a little bit, I'm going to have Dinoch make a charisma check for me. Ew. Yeah. Okay. Valinar, make an arcana check for me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> 14, I will take that. Wow. Oh, these are 16. <laughs> Both of you guys roll on flat rolls. I love it. Um... <laughs> Okay. Um, Dinoch, you, you learned prior when teaching uh, Katya uh, <laughs> of 
uh, of being a little bit <laughs> approaching it's a little bit different for people who have uh, some innate spell casting uh, and it, it's clearly shown that you have a, a better understanding of how to help teach somebody who doesn't necessarily understand fully how their magic works um and because of that valinar you do begin to pick it up a little bit faster um than oh. than kind of how well compared to how katya picked it up um it is still definitely a difficult subject matter and you you're beginning to get the idea of how you can put it into a spell uh how you can put this spell into a spell scroll um, but you're still probably going to need the assistance of of Dinoch in order to properly create um, a, a spell scroll of the level that you are needing. So you have begun to lay the foundations of being able to successfully create this scroll. So a few more good checks like that and you'll be well on your way. We need to figure out ways to get <clears throat> either bonuses or advantage. <laughs> I like the idea of you guys just rolling flat D20s. Um, <laughs> oh, we don't. Eh, that's not my problem. Um, <laughs> so, with, with that, um, is there anything else anybody would like to do to, set, uh, to help set up camp? Or anything anybody would like to do before going to sleep. I guess this is another way. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Arden, Bless Bless you. you. Is the name of the Father, yeah. the Son, and no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I unbless you and bless you in the Protestant way. <laughs> no. no! Okay. No, I will send Alucard after your ass. Nobody expects the vampire. <laughs> this sounds like um, a very enthusiastic walk. Uh, anyway. Okay, so private sanctum going up. Yep. Asta probably does not have the supplies for this, but she wants to make s'mores. Ooh, you know I what? I have a mushroom. You know what? Fuck it, I'll allow it. Sweet, y you'll, literally. Y you make you make the equivalent of D and D schmores. I don't know what that is, but they taste phenomenal. Uh, actually, hold on. We're gonna find out if they taste phenomenal or phenomenal or not. Let's have you make uh, a dexterity check for me. So just add a roll a d twenty and add your dexterity. Can I just keep my dexterity and do yeah, it? Yeah, same thing, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm just used to saying that due to, like, home games and stuff like that. Nice. 16. Yeah, they taste pretty good. Um, a couple of the, a couple got a little, uh, got a little burnt, but you gave, you gave those to Cardin, and he ate them with no issue and no complaints or anything like that. Uh, he thought they were great. <laughs> I'm saying this because Cardin has probably never had sugar in his life. Uh, Cardin... <laughs> Well, no, that's not true. He gonna... would have had coffee. He would have had coffee. I was going to say I was going to but... give the burnt ones to uh, Little Dragon Boy, since he's probably used to everything tasting burnt. <laughs> Excuse you? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> am I wrong? I'll have you know I am <laughs> not fire-based. No, but <laughs> acid dragon... still burns things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Acid is arguably worse. So again, there is the difference wrong. between <laughs> true charcoal and dissolve. This is true. This is this is true. Hey, you never had to chew anything though. <laughs> and <laughs> makes it easy to eat. You just kind of throw it in your mouth and swallow. Done. But I still get the taste of charcoal. No, thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> uh, 
Well, then. But, no, you guys have a lovely evening with your schmores and things like that. Um, and we should definitely establish a watch rotation. Okay. Before bed. That is awesome. <laughs> Did you have that ready for this? No, I just happened to find it. Demores. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love it. We're going to have to put that in general. Um, put that in the memes. Put that in the memes. <laughs> well. Uh, that, yeah, memes works as well. Um, right, while, sh while she is doing that, what would you guys like the watch order to be? As the night begins to creep in as you guys sit around eating s demors. <laughs> <laughs> demors. <laughs> Uh, so is there anything else anybody else would like to RP, or are we going to go straight into establishing watches? I don't have anything to RP at this time. Okay. Cardin, don't forget to mark off uh, five rations for Rock. Yeah. Um, and if there's nothing else, then let's go ahead and set, uh, establish a watch order. Watch would time. Who would like to take first watch? I will take first watch as I am petting the <laughs> one and only rock. Okay. Well, take... When did you become German? Yeah. He picks, dude, he picks a different episode, or a different le <laughs> accent every episode. You're, I'm just used to it. I know, but usually we have like something to start at. Nope. He's like, he's like a mood ring with accents. I thought you were used to this by now. So, I thought it was accent parrot, but he's moved up to mood ring. <laughs> Either one. Uh, second watch. We have Cardin up first. Second watch will be Dinoc. Dinoc, okay. And do we have a third? I shall volunteer. A street? Okay. No. <laughs> Asta third. Uh, and do we want to? Is it just going to do the three, or do you guys want four? As long or, as it's not Valinar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I'll step it up for number four. Okay, so the 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 four One of you time. guys twice, <laughs> two, two times, five times. <laughs> oh, <God>. uh, okay, <laughs> alrighty then. Um, Carden, uh, for your watch, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. We got the perception. Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Oof. Ah, ah, ah. Eleven. Um, <clears throat> the night is pretty quiet. The area around you, uh, other than like... If I find that cricket, I'm going to kill it. <laughs> pretty much other than some crickets in the area, it is pretty quiet. And from the area that you are, uh, you can actually see uh, most of the, the stars... Um, in the sky and from your current position you can actually see uh both the moons kind of just uh cresting or kind of just gliding through the sky um in the early evening uh but your watch kind of goes un without any kind of issues or anything like that um and you That's go good. and you go and wake up uh second watch was dinoc Hello, Dinoc. <laughs> I'm sure he loves to wake up to that. <laughs> but but would you be awake enough? Mage punch. I mean, at this point, Mage Hand is 100% an ingrained reaction. That he could do it in his sleep. <laughs> I can't wait till you just find Bigby's hand and that's what you use instead of Mage Hand. Mm -hmm. It don't come. It don't happen. I can't wait. I just need to find a town that has a library. <laughs> well, we gotta get up to the floating islands first. 
Anyways. Anyways. Dinoch gets up, stretches, and begins his walk. Or watch. Okay. He just walks off. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> go, go ahead and um, make a perception check for me then, Dina. Ten. Okay. You're definitely a little sleepy. Um, and I am trying to... Sorry, I'm trying to find my... There it is. Um, um, <clears throat> you are definitely a little sleepy, and the, the evening is quiet. The fire is warm. The, um, the stars are rather, rather nice this time of night. And... Yeah, it, it's rather peaceful. Uh, you, as well, can kind of see... Uh, well, I want to double-check my days here. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can see ever so faintly the um, one of the moons and the other moon being mostly... Uh, completely full, um, or almost. Oh, sorry, no, I read that backwards. Uh, one one of the moons being full in the sky, while the other one uh, is kind of more of a slight crescent moon uh, in the sky, uh, with some stars being rather bright in the evening. Um, Unlike our world, there isn't one particular uh, that indicates north, but you, you do find something kind of peaceful about the stars and everything uh, in this world. <clears throat> but eventually your watch passes. You don't notice anything out of the ordinary. And you can wait, you go to wake up, um, Asta. So I want to, <clears throat> I want to make sure this is clear. I nudge her. Okay. <laughs> From 30 feet away. <laughs> hey, I've seen what happens whenever someone wakes her up. <laughs> So you've learned. So you feel nudging. I wake up quickly, I just glare at you. <laughs> and then you're I get the, up and I, what? You're the one who volunteered for third watch. It's true. Came quicker than I was uh, thinking it would. No. <laughs> um yeah, I get up so and said... uh, Oh my god. <laughs> Anyway, I get up and I uh, go make myself another s'more as I kind of just look out into the night. Okay. Go ahead and make a perception check. Huh. 15 or 15? I think I'll take the 15. Um, you don't notice anything too different the the again the the main thing that you guys are gathering from this area is the view of the stars uh and the moons as they coast through the sky um in terms of things that occur dangers that might happen doesn't seem to be anything and eventually your there... watch ends without any any concerns. What were you saying? I was going to ask if there's any falling stars tonight. Uh, there does not appear to be. Just falling islands. Not that you can see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
And you can wake up uh, Katya next. Can I wake him up by just simply throwing a marshmallow in his face? I don't think that'll be enough. <laughs> Unless the marshmallow is on fire. That could be a hmm, no. <laughs> About that. <laughs> Shoot it with a lightning arrow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're trying to wake him up, not kill him. Yeah, exactly. If Asta touched me once, I'd be dead. <laughs> Lightning arrow is like her least damaging single target ability. Exactly. <laughs> I said least damaging. Exactly. <laughs> You've died a few times. What's once more? It's once more. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I see what you did there. But I'm Tish. Alright, I just poke you with a stick instead. Mm. Until you wake up. <laughs> My watch already? And that came fast. Yep. Wow, it sounds like hit. you in the morning. <sighs> <laughs> sounds like me every day. <sighs> yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. I'll get up and take my turn. Okay. I said I'd go last. Yeah, and you can see at this point, um, Katya, you can you can just barely begin to make out the ever so faint, like pinkish orange glow of the of the distant distant sun. Go ahead and make a perception check for your watch, as it'll be. A I'm using of... Tides of Chaos for advantage. Sure, because I know how that usually goes. Sure, go ahead. Give yourself advantage. Bloop. <laughs> Six is better than two. <laughs> oh, man. God. Hey, it's better than one. I tried. <laughs> okay. Um, it's definitely early, and you are for sure not a morning person. Um, but coffee <laughs> but the the watch seems to pass without any kind of issues or difficulties at least as far as you can tell uh, I look over to the group and see nobody's been brutally murdered okay we're good yep and as you do so you feel a tingling sensation in your belly as I give you your wild magic to you and I need you to roll a d100 oh yeah Where's your table at? 53. That number sounds familiar. Uh, it does not look familiar to me. Huh. Really? Well, roll 3d8 for me, uh, Katya. Oh, no. Uh, and... Dinoc. Neat. Dinoc, because you... Excuse you? Uh, Dinoc, because you spoke, uh, high or low? (laughs) Uh, mm, uh, high? Okay. <laughs> Five. It is high. So, as you guys all wake, uh, as you, or begin to wake, actually, you know what? No, this is better. You guys are all awoken as, Ka- as Katya sneezes. This l- <coughs> large and powerful, <coughs> and you guys feel this wave of raw arcane magic wash over you guys as you guys all start the day with 12 temporary hit points oh what oh okay cool i'll, I'll take oh. it okay. yeah, that's not that is not how that that number is intended to work but as you had used it and as you have had rolled it in an un unnormal way of doing so, I decided to turn it from healing into temporary hit points as you guys are awaking on a long rest. Sweet. So normally a 53 would have inclu- would be you you and all allies within 30 feet uh, would heal for 3d8 because you guys are starting okay. at full HP and everything. I'm like, you know what? It'll be um, it'll be uh, oh. it'll be uh, temp hit points for this morning. 
Sweet. Just for the morning or Well, the day? T- 10 hit points last for 8 hours. So I have temp HP. Or until they're gone. Yeah, or until they're gone. That won't last me long, but it's better than nothing. I mean, it that makes Ugh. 12 temp hit points is pretty good in all honesty. So, Katya sneezes and blames it on the allergies. <clears throat> I'm allergic as, to the surface. As you guys are all you would have rapidly awoken. Those 12 push-ups. <laughs> yep. As you do 12 push-ups, make a perception check, Carden. Oh, no. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Um, oh, my. Hello, what? Ah, ow, oh, ow. Okay. <laughs> Who's phone verded? Not mine. 13. <laughs> 13. Wasn't mine. Okay. Ah! Uh, Austin, was that your phone? I just said that was my phone. What? Oh. Okay. Well, oh. we didn't hear that. Give me a moment. Your moment's up. <laughs> and we all die. My new my news notifications are a lot louder <laughs> than any of the rest of mine. <laughs> Apparently. <clears throat> Carden, I have a silly question for you, but I need to know, and I have to ask. Does a 22 okay. hit? Yeah. Okay. As you... What? Yeah, you did it, baby. As you are... As you kind of roll over and begin doing uh, push-ups, uh, you you take... Oh, that was a good, good one. Uh, you take nine points of piercing damage as... You as something basically stabs you in the in your ankle. What the? As you turn, ah! as you turn, as you turn and look into the direction, uh, the there is a large kind of gray mass just latched onto your ankle. A mask. Mass. Where's Mass. Rock? Okay. Where's Rock? Rock? As you begin to kind of look and look closer, uh, you can see that you're slightly on the tail of this creature. And as you process a little bit more in that big old bright brain of yours the wheels begin to grind and turn <laughs> have you grown uh rock has officially quote unquote hatched and you know have access to his character stat sheets oh yay <clears throat> now be aware he is an untrained animal. <laughs> Clearly. Um, he has a hunger for flesh, I see. Uh, n- no, oh. it, w- it appears as though when Cardin started doing his push-ups, he uh, accidentally uh, either like pinched his tail or stepped on his tail, and so he bit Cardin in reaction. Fair. Kind of gives you this little <laughs> growl as you... As you uh, remove your weight from him, I assume. Yes, uh, I would sort of like to start training him at this point, then. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the rest of you guys see this. What are your guys' reactions? Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you on your new hatched rock. Thank you, as Cardin's, like, holding his leg. <laughs> Yeah, that was a pr- that was a pretty meaty hit. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that temp HP there. Uh, thanks, thanks for that extra vigor there, uh, Katya. Mm. Oh, is that what that was? I thought I felt more refreshed today. Yeah, you must have fallen asleep on the job. <laughs> more like barely woke up. Big difference with you. And Karin's like limping. Like, I guess I gotta train this thing now. 
Well, that might, might not be a very bright, Carton, but I thought you were at least smart enough to, to, you know, not step on creatures. Well, I didn't expect it to be right there. So you didn't see the gray creature in the mm -hmm. green grass. In his defense, it looks a lot like a rock, like all the other rocks around us. So I do have to, I do have to ask real quick. I do have to ask real quick. Um, as this conversation is kind of having, uh, kind of going on, have you removed him from your ankle? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. He's not gonna. Yeah, com really he's not gonna. F he's not gonna fight. Fight you on that. So, but as you kind of pull him away, and the rest of his body kind of begins to elongate, um, you can see that he's probably about the size of like a medium dog at this point. Um, think. Think. Yeah. Think like the size of like one of my dogs, like Dante, for example. Um, he's a, he's about that big, meaning he's probably about 60 to 70 pounds. Um, and how are you, how are you holding him? Like, how are you pulling him away? Um, I basically, I grabbed, like, I think he's sort of latched on with his teeth. Mm -hmm. So I sort of like take my hands, I pry open his mouth and carefully remove Hello? Hello? Uh, Hello? Yeah, okay, you just kind of cut out. Kind of you know, quiet. Okay. Um, basically, I take my hands, I, like, put them in his mouth, I, like, pry open Ooh. his mouth, and sort of, like, remove him from my leg. Like, I okay. just enough to, like, move my leg out. <laughs> okay. And then do you leave him on the ground, or do you pick him up? Like, what are you doing from that point in time? Um, from that point, I would probably pick him up sort of like uh you know like a big dog mm -hmm. pick him up like a big dog and sort of like scratch under his mouth like pet under his mouth okay so you're holding him kind of like a fireman would carry a dog right yeah okay yeah and you're using the I'm one holding hand to him very comfortably okay <laughs> And who all is watching this display? Oh, I'm definitely e me. I'm uh, eating my yep. morning rations while watching okay. the display. Sounds like everybody. Oster, are you watching as well? Nothing else yep. to do. One, two, three, four. Okay. Since you are holding the head away, I'm going to roll to see who he sees first. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Two. Okay. Uh, as the as his eyes kind of begin to like peel open and they're like sticking together, almost kind of like uh, that of like a newborn dog in a sense is. And as it kind of picks and flutters open a little bit um, and kind of looks for a moment before immediately locking eyes with you, Dinoch. And it just stares at you for a moment. The knock will stare back. Nope. <laughs> kind of stretches and a little bit with its long, its large kind of mouth. You can see a little bit of uh, the cloth from Carton's uh, boot kind of <laughs> sticking on one of its two on one of the little teeth that it has. <laughs> Oh no, wait. Okay, uh, Dinoch's gonna roll an int for this. See if he clicks. Okay. Did it just imprint? Uh, First thing it sees? You're not sure what, uh, what gray renders do. Uh, I believe gray renders are monstrosities, so if you would like, I will allow you to roll... Um... I'll say nature. I don't, I don't like that, but it's about the best thing I can say because Arcana, Arcana is not the correct thing for this. So I'm going to say nature. Nice. 18? It's possible.
Dinos gonna reach out and try and pet him. Um, as you kind of reach out, it kind of raises its nose and looks at your hand, and as it gets close, it definitely <laughs> It lets you. It. It. Mm, it's still pretty young. Go ahead and make a um, animal handling check. Fourteen, or sorry, twelve. I, wow, really dyslexic. Oh, wow, good roll for him. Um. It. Let you pet him. After sniffing your hand for just a moment as you reached out for him. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> sniffing, it's sniffing around in the food, and at this point it sees the food that Katya is holding and just kind of stares at it for a moment. These kind of... <laughs> Um, oh, hold on, what is the, I believe the eyes are more of a, like a dark black color. Kat is looking back and forth between nope, they're, the, food they're, her hand, the food in her hand and rock. Yeah, it's got, so remember, it's got, kind of got like these like small, like six, eye, uh, six eyes uh, total, three on each side of its head. And they all kind of are these small orange glowing beads like kind of on the side of its head and as it stares forward at you kind of like a deer like they all just kind of blink out of out of sequence of one another while just staring at you for a moment (laughs) dinoc will pull out some jerky from his rations okay uh you pull pull out uh um, some rations and he Oh. Nearly lost my hand on that one. Mm-hmm. Um, and depending on how much you feed him will depend on how much he eats. Because now that he is considered quote unquote toddler sized, uh, he will eat food forever. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll feed him two rations worth. Okay. Yeah, uh, he will hungrily eat both of those rations. <laughs> He's real hungry, Cardin. Yeah, he is. Now, is Rock going to react to a voice much closer than Dinoc? I mean, he knows he's being held, so he kind of, like, cranes his head like that, um, like a dog would to kind of look behind them. Uh, and he definitely <laughs> sees Cardin, and then he kind of gives, like, that slight head tilt and then stops because it's just an uncomfortable angle. <laughs> Okay, I can't see anything other than a, a a Dante made of rock. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Harden will put him put him down. Okay. And as as you do, he kind of tentatively takes a couple of steps, kind of getting his um getting his feet underneath him, and you know testing his legs basically. Uh, he can walk. He's not very fast as of the moment, um, but he can walk and kind of keep pace with you guys. Ooh. That's good. So. I wouldn't expect anything less. Okay. Can we make, like, a leash for him, or... Uh, can you? We have rope, but... Chances are he'd probably chew through it. Probably. Yeah. We'll just have to see if he travels with us. 
if nothing else, perhaps you can get a rod or something and tie a piece of meat to the end of it, so hold it over your shoulder. Yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, it, it worked to get you to stick with us, didn't it? That's <laughs> true. Okay. So, as you guys excited about the new companion, uh, the... He's cute. In a weird way. Yeah. Tiny gray render. Um, it is rather cute. You know this thing full grown? Horrifying. Terribly so. Yeah. But, but so one, far, babies are cute. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like a rancor. Sort of, except it walks on all four legs. Um, and as you guys kind of pack up, it's very curious about everything, kind of nosing invest in and, uh, and investigating everything that you guys do. Um, uh, Katya, you have to pack your bags twice because he knocks it over and knocks literally everything out of it. <laughs> Investigating <laughs> the uh, the stuff in it. Um, uh, you know what? I'm gonna say Valinar, you lose a stick of incense to his curiosity and him trying to eat Gosh, it. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> um. We're definitely gonna have to teach this thing some manners. Now, now, it's a newborn, it's a baby. I understand. But we have to teach it. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you getting these perfect pictures? I have my secrets, I have my ways. <laughs> I actually made this one a year ago when Carden took took rock. <laughs> <laughs> How crazy would that would that be? Actually, that'd be nuts. Anyway, um, but uh, as you guys begin to walk, he, uh, as you guys begin to walk, rock like runs and skips through kind of the woods and like stops and turns and looks to you guys a little bit. Uh, and as you guys kind of catch, he continues to do this. And then every now and then he'll get like, the, he'll like stop and his, and he'll look hyper focus and something uh, off in a direction. Um, the first time this happens, what do you guys do? As he kind of like stops, probably maybe five, ten feet ahead of you guys, and he just stops and just kind of t turns and looks uh, in a uh, eastern direction. I'm going to stop and look in that direction as well. On edge. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, make perception yeah. checks. Perception. Oh, jeez. Valnar sees all. 23. 18. Not bad. Okay. So, Cardin, who's supposed to be the best at seeing... Yeah. Can't see shit. Sees yeah. the worst out of the lot of us. <laughs> He's focusing on... More on just rock than anything mm, else. Pretty much, exactly. Um, Katia and Valinar, I will say... Um, Actually, he's not too bright, so I will say Dinoch as well. Um, you guys see, uh, as, as you guys kind of follow his eye line, to the best of your ability, uh, Valinar, you you pick it up the quickest, then Katia, then Dinoch. Um, uh, as you guys see that he is currently staring down uh, what appears to be a surface uh, kind of squirrel cur currently chewing on a acorn. Um... And it's just staring the creature down for a moment. <laughs> okay, uh -oh. that's not a real threat, at least. You sure about that? Five, well, considering any plant here four, could be a monstrosity. Three. What? Two. <laughs> one. He bolts. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is 
sprinting after the the squirrel, and the squirrel uh, seeing him go after him just vanishes up one of the trees. <laughs> And he just oh, walk <laughs> in it, and Cardin's like, "Egg them on, <laughs> get the squirrel." And then I'll he... walk somewhat quickly after him and just be like, "No, no, I don't think you're gonna get him now." He's like, I'm like trying, like claw, like kind of clawing at the base of the one tree a little bit, and then he'll circle around it two or three times, and then crawl at it, uh, kind of cra- uh, claw at it again. <laughs> He kind of like looks up at you. <laughs> Very nice. Like look and, and looks between you and the tree. Like, are you gonna get it? You know what? Uh, Where is, is it in the tree? Uh, go ahead and make a perception check for me. Uh, do not. <laughs> Dirty twenty. It, it is currently like sitting on a on a limb, looking down at you. And then just like ever so ever so often just <laughs> on the acorn that it currently has. Okay. Uh how far away? Oh, not terribly far. It's maybe like 40 feet. Maybe. Okay. Oh no. Cuz I was going to uh mage hand and grab it <laughs> and toss it in in uh, rock's general direction. You know what? I like this. I I, I will allow it. Um, we'll say it's only 30 feet away. Uh, but I am going to ask you to make a Arcana... Mm, no, you know what? We'll make it a spell, like a spell attack. Just roll a spell attack uh, for me. Okay, I'm just going to use Firebolt for this. That's fine. <laughs> Natural 20. Natural twenty. You not just. You didn't just grab the squirrel. You squeezed it to death. No, I. I, I don't. No, think, I threw I don't it think directly the, into Rock's mouth. Well, th- that's a whole other uh, thing here. We'll we'll get to it in a moment. Um, you, <laughs> you 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 you. Not only do you get the catch the squirrel by surprise, but you almost like squeaky toy it uh, as like the <laughs> eyes kind of bulge wide for a moment as <laughs> the mage hand grabs and no, as, not it, the squirrel. as it fights and squirms against the iron grip of your mage hand you can see rock getting down in like that play stance and getting real excited and everything and as you kind of toss it he jumps trying to kind of catch it I'm gonna roll a um actually you know what uh Cardin you have the stat sheet roll a um Acrobatics or a dexterity check for rock. <laughs> what did the squirrel ever do to you? Not the squirrel. It existed. Don't we have somewhere <laughs> else to be? Literally <laughs> multiple places, but this is what happens when the barbarian chooses to take a pet. You say and the mage actually has fun with it. Yeah, but this is because you love dogs. Uh, yeah, a- a- acrobatic or dexterity, whichever is there. Oh, acrobatic or dexterity. Yeah, that's strength. So. Oh. Ooh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, okay. I see. I- 19 still works. And as it, d- as it as you throw it, it jumps and it catches the, 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 the squirrel. Um... And then immediately, like, drops it to the ground and gets down low with its head, like, ready to play. Uh, and as the squirrel hits the floor, it... Or it kind of... And doesn't move. Hmm. Kind of... Well. Yeah, the squirrel doesn't move, and he kind of... Like, he's kind of down, ready to play, and just... Just does the puppy head tilt. Yeah, and kind of, like... Nu- he kind of, like, nudges it with his snout, and the squirrel just shifts and rests back. Congratulations. Rock has gotten its first kill. Arden is going to take the squirrel's tail and sort of move it. No. He gets <laughs> back up. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh my god. <laughs> yes! But it's not humanoid. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> which is something we've been talking about that my mm. animate deck can do other things. Why yes. else do you think I got the uh, Minotaur? Yeah, it, so his 
yeah, his his big casting of uh, Animate Dead can very much do some very special things. For a squirrel, for the entertainment of the quote-unquote dog in this scenario, I will absolutely allow for this third-level spell to do this. Um, <laughs> as it kind of gets up and in kind of like in a squirrel-like fashion looking around, uh, what is your initial command for it? Play keep away with rock. <laughs> okay. The squirrel takes off in the opposite direction, and Rock immediately chases it. I'm imagining it's going to stick uh, onto the ground, right? Stick too close to the ground, on the ground, and occasionally get up a little bit just to give Rock a little bit more gotcha. entertainment value. Sticking close to us. Okay, so kind of like making it go in like a larger uh, circle around the group as you guys are running. Yes. Or moving. Amazing. <laughs> You've been waiting for me to do something like this, haven't you? Wow. I've been waiting for Rock to hatch for eons, but I rolled for it to see when it might hatch, and it was, like, way longer than I was honestly happy with, and I went, well, okay, then. Uh, Let's see. <laughs> All right, and and that is what Rock does for uh make a let's see that lasts for forever Rock how long will you play let's find out are you proficient you are not proficient in those so there's that because I want to do one <laughs> we'll say he goes for not very long uh <laughs> It's not, it's like, he's still a toddler. He's still learning to walk, for Christ's sake. Um, <laughs> we'll say he goes, like, half an hour um, before he eventually kind of comes and lays in front of the group. Like, he comes back to the group kind of panting. <laughs> it looks to most of you. Uh, and then just lays down and just... <sighs> <laughs> and just immediately <laughs> falls asleep. <laughs> okay. Then I guess we can move on now. <laughs> hmm. That's a shame. There's no, there's no uh, stat blocks for Squirrel and D&D &D Beyond. <laughs> Use, just, just modify rat. Or I can see what other people have made and give credit to them. Okay. Because, yeah, we're using D&D &D Beyond. Oh, that's a gargantuan squirrel. That won't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Right. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> it's like a CR-16. <laughs> what the suddenly fuck? the squirrel's fighting back. <laughs> uh, no. Anyway... <clears throat> um. Yeah, uh, it, it falls asleep basically. So, what do you guys do in the meantime? Or what do you guys do at this point? I guess I should say. I say uh, we should probably get on the road if we want to get anywhere before dark. That's what I was thinking thirty minutes ago. Well, squirrel. This will do. <laughs> Obviously, we got distracted squirrel. by a squirrel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So when you say squirrel, the squirrel on my shoulder now perks up and just goes. <laughs> Don't flash your bones at me. <laughs> Technically, it's like a zombie. I'm imagining the flesh is still on it anyway. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. It still looks alive. Still, yeah. Just... He just looks a little Fresh bit more squirrely, <laughs> or less in this case. <laughs> Honestly, I found a stat block for a squirrel, and I, I think it's actually very accurate. So we're gonna go with that for right now. Um, not sure who created it. However, it's 
a wiki page, so go figure, right? Anyway. Mm. Um Rock is currently lying on the ground. Mm. Oh. Rock, um, He's asleep. Somebody's gonna have to pick him up and move him. Carden, it's your pet. Carden will try and wake Rock. You're gonna attempt to wake him? I feel like that's a bad like, idea. Get him up. Sorry, say that again, Carden. I'm sorry. Like, get him up to move. Like, are you gonna carry you... him or are you gonna get him up to walk? Um. I'm gonna get him up to walk because that's what Carden would do. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and make oh, a uh, animal handling check with disadvantage for me, then, as you have, as he has just fallen asleep. Ha! Four. Oh no! Four. Oh god! This might actually play out worse than waking up Asta. <laughs> I would say he kind of like. He's just like, ah, 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 ah. like, like not, he's like nipping at you, but like not to the point of like causing harm or actually trying to bite you. It's more or less just kind of like that. Leave me alone. Kind of push, push away. Kind of a thing. You may want to pick, pick him up. up. In that case, Karin will try to pick him up. Okay, go ahead and roll a sleight of hand check then, as you try to gently get underneath him without. Sixteen. Sixteen. I would. I will say that's. <laughs> I will say that is um, is enough to kind of pick him up without causing him too much dis um uh, displeasure. Um, and you can carry rock. You guys are making progress. While it was slowed for a little while because, due to the fact that, um, rock is a little bit slower than the rest of you guys, but yet still highly entertaining, um, <laughs> uh, you guys are making progress. Things have slowed a little bit, um, but, um... At least it hasn't slowed because we were under attack. Yet. Mm, there it is. I knew that. Yet. Look, the moment you said it, increase the chance of it happening quadruple fold. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's funny, too, just because of rolling things and things. But, uh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, no. The, uh, the, you guys travel a little bit longer in the day just to try to make up a little bit of extra time here. Um, due to rock being rock. And again, every now and then you guys have to stop and let him play with the squirrel, which is easy enough to do and continue to move. But, um, in fact, the squirrel helps us go faster because it goes ahead of us. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and he, but here, but here's the thing. Uh, rock currently only has a base movement speed of 20 feet, <laughs> which which means at, even at a 40-foot dash, he's only keeping up with Cardin's walking speed. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's trying to do circles around the entire group that with, you know, thanks to the squirrel and stuff. So um, he had to slow down. So the speed is a little reduced, not by much. Uh, and it also does help that, like, Rock plays for, like, 10 minutes and then passes out for probably an hour and a half. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> You guys kind of have this pattern that you just keep repeating over the course of the day as you guys travel. Um, and there does not seem to be any any issue for this day of travel. Now, uh, Dinoc, you would know that if uh, would know if uh, your if the directions and stuff were to be accurate and whatnot, you guys should arrive sometime early morning um, uh, in the next day to your location. Uh, so, real quick, mm -hmm. every time Rock wakes up, I want to give him a quarter of a ration of meat. Okay. Of jerky, basically. Okay. Um, yeah, he will definitely eat it. Um, 
So that'd be what, two? Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Because you gave him two earlier. And like I said, I'll give him a quarter. Basically just a nibble. Ow. Yeah, he does appreciate it. And, um, so you've given him a total of four rations now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and your rations are grouped into um, uh, servings, right? Not days. This would be like breakfast, lunch, and dinner rather than one day, two day. Yeah, originally that's how I did it was days. And then because you guys don't do that, I had to I do. do math and. That's fine. I mean, however convert, you want. Which is... it, it's however you want to keep track of it. Because Rock is a wild card when it comes to these things, um, simply because of his the amount that he will eat. Um, that can kind of vary on how you want to track things. So, as we kind of come to the evening, and you guys begin to settle down for camp, uh, Rock is very, uh, very aggressively, like, pattering for food at this point. Uh, and what I will say is, in order to satiate Rock, depending on who, you know, depending on how you guys want to do it, he will eat between six and ten meals a day. Meaning, Oof. depending, so depending on how you want to do it, that's six to ten meals or six to ten rations, or if you're going to keep track of rations, that's three, three, um, three meals per day. Uh, that would still be uh, two to three rations per day is how, how much food Rock will consume. So, so, um, I have create food and water. Uh-huh. Maybe you should use that. <laughs> and, uh, that can feed five steeds for 24 hours, so. <laughs> yes. There we go. It makes a lot of food. Uh. <laughs> let's about see. bland food. It is. And Rock while, don't care about yeah, flavor, clearly. He's, he's not big on flavor. He does definitely prefer the meat. He definitely does. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Because uh, that's five steeds, but they're horses, typically. If it helps, it's 45 pounds of food. Right. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And each ration is a, what, a one pound? For a day's worth, I believe, yeah. Yeah. Day's worth of rations is two pounds. It, it feeds, two pounds, okay. It feeds 15 humanoids or five steeds, is what it says. Mm hmm. I mean, I would definitely say he would probably eat the equivalent of, a, of, a, of one steed's worth of food. Um, so he would, if you cast create food and water, he would probably, not this day because he's already had four rations, but he, if you cast it, he would definitely eat. Like, in the future, he would definitely eat uh, probably a fifth of the amount of food that you create. And the rest would just yeah. leave wherever we were at. Because <laughs> I mean, it disappears. It bad after 24 hours, so... Yeah, so if somebody happens upon it in 24 hours, they get some free meal. Like but the birds the, and stuff in the air. Then again, if you're creating that much food, we could all eat it too. Yeah. So then we won't have to use rations at all. So, that's, if he eats one, yeah, it would still be, it, there would still be enough to, fe uh, to feed you guys. And this isn't the game where I've bought salt and pepper. No, but if you have access to presentation, you can flavor the food however you wish. I don't. Ah, well, sucks to be you. Damn. <laughs> Sorry. I know some natural herbs and spices. Do you have any? No, we had to find them. Do you wish to try to find them? I'm currently on the lookout for materials for magic ink already. Go ahead. So I mean, if you want to do some scavenging, never... go for it. So, I mean, since we have to keep an eye out, uh, since we have to travel at a slower pace anyway with Rock chasing mm -hmm. the squirrel, um, I could spend some of that time looking around for herbs and such. Yeah, I'll allow that. Let's flavoring. Go. Can go squirrel ahead. help? Squirrel? No. <laughs> it's undead. Sorry. 
Um, Valinar will help. Valinar will help? All right, so go ahead okay. and make... I'll, I'll tell Valinar what to keep an eye out for. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. This would be either nature or survival. Again, nature's higher for me. Mm-hmm. So and if you... Nature. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Oh, all right. 20. Hey. Potential 20. Uh, Valinar, do you want to make a, a roll as well, or do you... would? What what did you say it was? Nature or survival? Yeah. Well, survival's higher for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, heaven and hell. Yeah. I like to imagine, uh, like every time Valinar just finds something that he thinks is the right ingredient. Is this ca- it? No, ca- that ca- will cause you to break out in a horrible rash. Yeah, Katya just goes, no, that's poison. <laughs> no, that's Got it. poison. It's in the pocket for later. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's poison. <laughs> uh, actually, that one's good for getting high. Uh, no. <laughs> no, perfect. Puts in mouth lights. <laughs> <laughs> Now all you the plants are edible. Oh my god. Um, Katya, however, with a natural 20, um, I would say, yeah, you would definitely be able to find um, some some ingredients that you're looking for. Um, and you're specifically looking for the ink ingredient stuff as well as, what was the other one? Uh, flavoring. Um, I would say you'd be able to find some pretty basic root um, and 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 uh, vegetation herb spices, things like mint leaves and things like, excuse me, and like that. Um, some lavender maybe as well. Um, in terms of like the rare ingredients for uh, the plants. Uh, or for the ink and stuff, you do actually manage to find like this one f- like flower that grows very in a very particular place. Like it's a flower that grows out of the out of the trunk of a of a, of a tree that is a specific type of tree. You would imagine it's very similar to an oak, but it's not an oak tree. Um. You do manage to find like one of these flowers, and you know based off of your herbalism, uh, you know history and whatnot. Um, as long as you don't fuck it up, this one flower uh, will ma- will allow you to make the equivalent uh, um, the equivalent amount of ink, provided you can find some of the other um, some of the other materials and this is just generic stuff that you could you could buy from a grocery store if you needed to um yeah but the rest if we were near one right 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 um and this is you know that's kind of like what you found the main ingredient for making the magical ink that you that is needed um okay so as long as you don't fuck it up you know that you have enough ink for a fur you would have enough ink for a first level spell okay so, just for reference, one flower, one level. If that makes okay. sense. So, to do one say, flower per level, gotcha. Yeah, so, yep. So, basically, for say a fifth level, you need five flowers. And then you would gotcha. have enough ink for that one spell, that one fifth level spell. So, perfect. Yep. It is difficult to do, but the, the, in the overgrowth here, um, these are a little bit more common. Uh, or you're going to have a little bit better luck of finding them. Um, but you guys have not yet reached an area in which I can describe more. So, okay. as you guys begin to bed down for the night, and after you guys have fed um, Rock his hunger satiated, um, before we set up, um, as we kind of go and begin to set up a watch... Actually, yeah, it, it is. it will be required... Uh, what will the watch be tonight? Do you guys want it to be the same? It'll be different. Private sanctum going up. Pardon, we'll go to the middle watch again. I will just say, because we'll speed this up a little bit, for those of you who wish to take a watch, roll a perception check. Here we go. 
Your temp HP are expired now, by the way. Yeah, they will. Expired. Hit the wrong button. Yep, you did, Garden. <laughs> D-knock. Let's see, wait, how Garden. did you roll a six persuasion without rolling a, or a, per, a perception without rolling a natural one? Like, that's impossible. Because <laughs> that says persuasion? Yep. Uh, so we got one D-knock, from Garden, D-knock. Asta. Anybody else? I'm assuming the group is actually on even our... if I rolled a 19. <laughs> so we have two people above a 10. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> however, you guys are lucky. Uh, and that the night goes uneventful because I have already rolled for. I had already, I rolled my D100 and there is. Nothing that seems to catch your eye. So, good. as you guys sleep, and the next morning begins to, aw- to wake you all, let's go ahead and take a break here as it is 1046, and we'll come back here in a couple Perfect. of minutes. Um, so make sure you uh, drink your legs and stretch your waters, and then we'll be back and uh, continue this uh, journey. BRB, guys. Bye-bye. As we return here this morning, evening? Okay, I don't care. As we return to our game, the sun rising high in the sky, the animals in the forest, being uh, dorsey as they are, um, you guys wake. And... uh, Nah, I'm not Squirrel gonna... has been keeping a watch on Rock. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting here like, mm, no, nah, I'm not going to. I was sitting here like, mm, no, nah, I'm not going to be a dick. Rock Rock is also there. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel is now Rock's caretaker. Understood. Much. Understood. <laughs> but the morning is yours. The day is your guys's. Um, as you guys begin to eat, he, uh, Rock will go around and nuzzle basically each and every one of you until somebody gives him food. Arthur will give him a ration. Okay, mark it off. As he... Oh. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> Somebody was hungry. Um, you know what? He'll give him another one just to make it an even number. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I, I will ask. Um, actually, you know what? Because Cardin, you're you're probably going to need to be the the person for this. Um, keep track of how many rations he gets, uh, or has been given every day. Um, I don't know if there's an easy way to track that or not. Um. Writing down paper, right, writing it down on a piece of paper. Probably. Um. Paper or the notepad app. Or something like that, yeah. So, Cardin, uh, Cardin, because it is your your pet, um, go ahead. Uh, I'm trusting it to you to keep track of how many rations it has consumed every day. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna throw it in. Um, I don't know what. Yeah, I'll just throw it in the other resource section. There you go. Okay, yeah. On a character, on a character sheet or on rock sheet. I mean, I, I don't care where you put it as long as you... Temp HP! What? No. Darn it. That doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> um. Yeah, basically as long as you know what it is, I'm going to trust that you do. Um... And basically, I want you to let me know if a day ever occurs uh, that he does not meet the required 
uh, what did I say? Six to ten rations per day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah, if he ever, if there's ever a day that he does not meet the that, I need to know because that changes his mood. <laughs> uh oh, yeah. So, yep. If anybody is willing to help Carden do this, it would be he would be eternally grateful. Mm -hmm. I know Valinar. I can. Yeah, I, I can. But Carden also needs rations for himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I do know Valinar can help with the create food and uh uh the foods the create food and water spell um the only issue there however is a the duration and b he will definitely want meals he's not going to eat it all in one goes at, not at this point in time um as he gets older that might be an option but as as his at his current age and size uh, he has to he has to consume uh, rations at least at two separate points during the day. So morning and evening would be the easiest way to keep track of it. Dinoc will feed him one more ration to give him the three for the morning. Okay. Um, keep track of those. Um, and uh, Carden, make sure you mark that he's had another ration for the day. Yep, I did. So he's up to three. It's under it's under uh, other resource, right next to my rage and uh, <laughs> my character sheet. Yeah, that that's perfectly fine. Like I said, I'm gonna let you keep track of it. So, okay. Um. I don't think you guys need to make any kind of checks now because you guys are going to be setting off. Uh, um, you know what? We'll have one more. Can I get one more survival check from uh, probably Dinoc as he's going to be the main person leading this? Take a guidance. <clears throat> <laughs> survival. Uh, mm, 20 no, plus a D4. Let's, let's see where that D4 gets me. 22. 22. That's pretty good. As you guys travel for a while, uh, after probably, I want to say like three hours, the forest around you kind of changes. In a good way. Sort of. The, the greenery around you guys somehow becomes greener and dense or more dense yet not to the point of like impossible to traverse and the animal the animal like noise and presence becomes more before you guys would see animals here and there now you're seeing animals everywhere. The all of these different kinds of deer that you would see, these kind of mo somewhat mutated and misshapen deer populate this forest floor way more here in this particular area of the forest. Mutated. Yes. They've always been mutated. Yeah, where have you been? If they're always mutated, then wouldn't that be normal and they were not actually mutated? To you guys, they are ah, mutated. Carden, it is normal. I see. Mm -hmm. Yep. Party majority. Yeah. Um, and the deeper and deeper in you guys get into this area, you actually begin to see... Uh, some of these creatures with less of a mutation almost to the point where there are even some that look almost normal like you have to look and find the the mutation that the the the, the these creatures or animals have and almost before you even realize it as you guys are noticing these changes in the in the uh, animal and plant life around you 
you guys eventually emerge into a large clearing where there is this massive tree. Good job. That came out of nowhere. Mm. And it and it, it kind of does. And as you look, the tree is probably probably just looking at it from this side and probably, you know, standing probably 20-ish feet away from it at this point. Um with the clearing, it was just from side, from one side to the other that you're just kind of glancing at. It's probably 20 feet across. And as you kind of look up, the this thick trunk reaches towards the sky uh, with these dense, uh, with the dense mushroom-like uh, density of brush and leaves above. They, probably a good 60 to 80 feet in the air above you guys. And... The, some of the greenery just kind of draping down. Some of it's so f- long and draping so far down that it's even touching the, the forest floor in front of you. Hmm. Kind of thought it would be bigger. This is the biggest tree I do believe we've ever come across, and you thought it would be bigger. It looks bigger in the vision. <clears throat> Oh, you know what? That's so because it was. I misspoke. <laughs> it's. <laughs> I I did. Uh, it's it's forty foot from one side to the other of the trunk. <laughs> oh, so we're oh. talking redwood. Yeah, it's it is massive. Um, based off of there that. we go. Yeah, <laughs> I, I ha I I thought I had remembered it correctly, and I looked at my notes, and I was wrong. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> uh and you can and you can clearly tell like where some of the trees in the area like stop and the tree this this tree continues up into the air. Then I retract my previous statement. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> um it's still large either way. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Cardin and Valinar. I believe you two have the highest passive perceptions. Um Yes. You guys hear whispers. Eh. Mm hmm. Whispers. Just can, hushed. Can we make it, can I... Hushed sounds just kind of floating around the area. Um, what languages do you guys speak? Um, common, Dorvish, Elvish, Gnomish, and Cory. I'm an abyssal Corian celestial. Neither one of you guys would recognize the language currently being spoken. Can I tell if it's a hot if it's like hostile whispers or curious whispers? Make an insight check. Normally. Veggie Soft twenty. Soft twenty? It seems more curious than anything. Okay. Hmm. They, they seem curious. Cur- what? What do you? Who do? seems curious? What are you talking around about? us? Well, around what? Around us? I see a tree. Mm-hmm. As they kind of point out some of the the sounds and stuff like that, and you guys begin to listen and focus your ears on it, uh, you guys too can begin to make out the. Th- this hushed kind of language being spoken around you. I'm going to have to roll perception on that because I don't have ears. That's fair. I'll allow it. <laughs> 16? I mean, I would say so. Yeah. I was going on a 10 or so. Like, Excuse me. <clears throat> under 10? No. Above 10? Yes. Okay. Uh, so can I understand what they're saying what languages do you guys speak common draconic elvish halfling and sylvan common celestial draconic infernal I have common dwarfish and orc and celestial so the only person who would actually the only person who would understand it would be Katya, as it is, hey. as it is Sylvan. 
Ha! I finally found a use for this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, what you would hear is, <gasps> Travelers! We haven't seen Travelers in decades. Wow, 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 wow. And just murmurs of, like, basically, Travelers! Wow, neat! Wonder what they want. Whoever they are, they're surprised to see us. Apparently, they haven't seen Travelers in a long time. Oh, you understand them. For a change, I actually understand a language that isn't common. Hey, what language are they speaking? You, you understand a language that me and Valinar don't. Exactly. They are speaking the Sylvan tongue. Sylv? Oh! The voices of nature. Language of oh. the So, go, can I look around to see if I can figure out what's speaking? Sure. Go ahead and uh, make a perception check. The yeah, perception. Roll. 17. 17? You don't see anything. The heck is even speaking? Katya, can you yes. ask someone... To come talk to us. Someone who all of us can understand. Katya calls out in Sylvan. Send us a representative to greet us. That we may speak common. Oh, but he's not here at the moment. The vo they answer, nobody's home. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, but that's not entirely inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> then send us someone who can who can speak with us at all. Well, you're speaking with us. But I can't see who I'm speaking to, and that's quite rude. Oh, that's because that's the way we want it. Much, much safer this way. At least until he returns. Who is he? Uh, sorry, I am very quickly just checking my notes. Oh, that is not... Uh, oh, they, uh, he, they reply, oh, the, the speaker, the champion of On. The one I who knew it was the him. champion of On, of On, Katya says in common. <laughs> Wait, what? You said there was a figure that was guarding the tree in your, in your vision. And I thought it must be a guardian of On. Just received confirmation. Apparently... He's not here right now, or that's what I'm being told, at least. Can you ask when he'll return? When do you believe this champion will return? Soon, most likely. There's a messenger has already gone to fetch him. Messenger has already gone to fetch him. Oh, okay. Should we just wait? <laughs> Would it be rude of us for us to wait for his arrival? Of course not. Feel free to sit and rest and partake of the nature's bounty. Hey, it sounds good to me. What sounds good? We are... We're essentially extended an invitation to... Go ahead and wait for the Guardian's arrival. Um, we we can take partake of nature's bounty. Don't trust it. The Guardian. Yes, Cardin, we established this. The Guardian of On. Yeah, but I couldn't understand it when 
they were talking about it. I explained it to Dinoch, who's right next to you. Okay. <laughs> Garden momentarily forgot common. It's fine. <laughs> I feel like that's but, on par. Garden, Garden thinks in Cory, so. But wait a minute, Garden. <laughs> Aren't you a champion of On? Yes, yes, I am. A young one, but yes, I am a champion of On. More then perhaps memory. you should walk up to the tree and say, Here I am, the champion of On. As much as I want to pull one over the gods in this situation, <laughs> don't think that's a good idea. Probably not. So what I is... guess nothing left to wait then. Nothing left to do but wait then. What are their brains on? I'm sorry, you turned mine off with that question. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Rom.exe needs to reset for a moment. <clears throat> and everybody hears the Windows sound. <laughs> Okay, do you want to try that one again, please? I have the feeling that this might... that a different champion of On must be in charge of the On tree. The On tree? The On tree. The On tree. Is that what we're calling this thing? Good evening, guys. This is the tree of on. What? Whatever. This isn't a meal. This is the tree. <laughs> it is the tree of on. There you go. Would I, uh, yeah, would I potentially recognize these as servants of On, or like a Sylvan of On type of deal? Wood fairies, basically. You can make a religion check for me. Ooh, let's see. I'm probably not good at these, but we'll try it. <laughs> Pretty sure they're intelligence based. Yep. If anyone should make these rolls, it should be me. 16! That's oh, not that's bad! Um, <laughs> um... Most likely, these are some kind of inhabitant of this area. You don't think they're any kind of like direct direct servants of On, um, but you do believe that they're probably part of his domain. Okay. So as you guys These sit and thing to be part of his of On's domain, we can probably go ahead and uh, partake with them. It'd be nice to enjoy nature without having to fight for your life in it. Party. Um. So, with that, what do you guys, um, what would you guys like to do while you wait? I would like to start teaching in rock common. All right, and how do you do so? I will, like... Basically, I would start like as I would a dog, like trying to teach him to like sit and stay and stuff like that. Okay, uh, go ahead and make a animal handling check. Again. 16. 
Hmm. I'll take it. Okay. He's beginning to... Well, I'm going to see how he does for you. Oop, that... Hmm. Um, he is beginning to understand, like, the sit and stay command. He, he's processing it and, be, and learning. Not his, you know, best set of skills as of the moment, but he's learning. That's fair. It takes time. It does. May as well work on the scroll while waiting. Or at least trying to figure out the scroll. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, go ahead. We'll say go ahead and do... We'll say go ahead and do the same checks. Crap. As I'm going to use guidance on myself. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, that's actually pretty good for me. 16. Oh, God. Hang on. Where's my D4? <laughs> I mean... Ten. Well, it gives you 10. Still a good thing that you use the guidance, because... Um, you, you, you wanted to be above a 10, for sure, to make progress. Um, but it is still rather difficult. And while you are, you are confident that you can perform this task and do what is uh, needed, um, it, is, it, it is a little bit of a struggle. Um, you make some progress. You figure if you keep at this, you should be able to start crafting the uh, spell scroll probably with within the next day or so. As long as you okay. don't have any uh, issues with uh, doing uh, the spell scrolls and stuff like that, if that makes sense. Kind of. So, Basically, as long as I don't roll terribly. Or take days off. Okay. Um, okay. Anybody else want to do anything? Anybody want to look around or anything? Mm. I'll, I'm I, very much focused on the great render. Yes, I shall look for more useful herbs. Okay. Uh, make a survival check with advantage. Ooh, with advantage. Do do do. Twelve. Twelve? Okay. Um You do not find any of the flowers necessary for inks. Um but you do find a almost a surplus of the amount of herbs uh necessary for crafting um healing potions. Ooh. Um Is it enough to Work on making some healing potions? I think you already have some to you could work on using, I believe, don't you? I believe I already used those and made one potion, one, uh, potion of healing, greater healing. Blah. That's cocked. Dang. So cocked. Ooh. Okay. I rolled really well, but... Surplus is a surplus. So, you have the option of making... Um, hold on one second. I want to write something down before I forget. And then I need to look something up. Uh, I will also say, while I look this up, uh, you begin, like, as you're walking around and you're looking and you're looking and uh, looking for things, you actually s would come across, you would be the first person to come across as you are the person um, up and moving. As you yeah. come across this massive gaping kind of recess in the tree, kind of opposite of where you guys entered from, and inside you can see this like humanoid 
figure kind of sitting down one knee up the arm uh kind of slung over the knee kind of sitting there the other arm kind of leaning forward on the thigh just kind of slumped forward resting creature completely made of wood and from now and now that you're able to take a better look at it and look around kind of even from a distance you can see that the back of this creature of this creature is where the the where this tree almost starts this massive tree that you see and have been walking around seems to come out of the back of this wooden creature oh my god it's Groot kind of yeah <laughs> not exactly but kind of that's neat um <laughs> Carden recognize what it is you don't see it yeah you don't see it Carden Ro uh, uh, yeah Katya would be the only person to see this at the moment so okay um I'll just matter of fact uh after I collect the herbs and come back to join the group, I'll just matter of fact tell them about it. Mm -hmm. So, um, you want the good news or the bad news? Yes. Neat. The bad news is making <laughs> making healing potion takes time. Yes. Um, the good news is is you have found a ample amount of resources in this area. Nice. How much? Uh, the equivalent of 27 D4 worth. Wow. So, oh, wow. what that means is you can craft healing potions in, of pretty much any variety that you wish. The, and what Including I mean... Including Supreme, right? Correct, because a Supreme cool. healing potion is 10 D4 plus 20. Um... Definitely want to make a couple of those. So, so you could make two. Is Sweet. what that is would be your limitation on that. Okay. But, but here's the catch: if you fuck it up because it's a higher DC because of this because of it being a supreme, you lose yeah. those resources. All right. So, what do I have to roll in order to work on that? Uh, this is this would be considered an herbalism check. Uh, herbalism. You are you are proficient in herbalism, which okay. um, which I believe would allow you to just make because um, you don't have expertise in herbalism, right? No, you put your uh, you put your expertise yeah. in um, Arcana. Arcana. Um, yeah. Ironically enough, I feel like, but. Um, <laughs> that's a little late now. Ninety episodes late, but um, yeah. This would be a this would be a a mm, it's kind of eh, no I would still say medicine it, it would be a wisdom check plus your proficiency bonus since you are proficient in herbalism you know okay. just make him a thing on the skill box I think I could do it for my inventory uh mm -hmm. herbalism kit yeah there it is. Say so, so. You said this is wisdom proficiency, full proficiency, and because it's using a tool, I don't think it applies for uh, tied to chaos. So, uh, I think you can, can't you? If it's considered a skill check, skill check, saving throw, or attack roll. I would. Mm, that's interesting. R. Hold on. Let me just check real quick. Attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. It does not say anything about tools, but it does require an ability to use a tool. I'm just, I'm just doing a quick Google search. I would say 
based off of what I'm reading, I would say yes. I would say yeah. Okay, cool. <clears throat> then I'll use the Tides of Chaos to ensure a better roll here. Okay. 21. 21. And this does take several hours to do, just so you're aware. Apparently we're waiting several hours. Well, <laughs> well, not exactly. You're just distracted for several hours because you got kind okay. of in a... Um, I got started and I was like, oh... Yeah. I can do this. I can do this. And Pretty much. Um, and I will say with a 21. Before we speak, or before I speak to this, roll a d100. Yeah. Depending on, <laughs> because depending on the result of this could change everything. Eight. Eight. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is, this is where we all die. No, 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 no! I don't want to do that. Can I? Can I try to suppress it? No, nope. probably not. Oh Cause tides god! Because tides of chaos just happen. <laughs> what oh, did you do no. to us? I will say because technically you have to choose a target. You could just shoot it at something and like shoot it into the air. Yeah, like we'll do that. like at a leaf that, or something you, like that. You see that cloud up there? Fuck that cloud! All we'll right, split it. As, as the magic kind of channels through you, and you try to direct it up at the crap at the the cloud, you guys watch as a former, uh, a relatively common spell at this point in time for you guys, um, uh, a spell of magic missile leaves his hand and <laughs> into the sky as the fuck it, it just. <laughs> And just obliterates probably a half a dozen leaves. <laughs> uh, it, it wouldn't reach a cloud. There's no way. Did I you tried. magic again? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. But <laughs> Katya is so distracted putting this potion together. Right. And this would all happen. I guess this would all happen much later. So we're going to come back to all of that in a couple of minutes. Okay. Um, because. After probably probably an hour and a half of you guys kind of waiting and train and training your your pet, um, you guys begin to hear movement kind of from behind you, uh, and as you guys kind of turn and look, uh, you all recognize the person stepping from the shadows of the trees. It's a relatively familiar face as you guys have just kind of recently seen him. As you guys see uh, Siddick stepping through the tree line, but he's not wearing that armor set or anything like that. You are, he's wearing like a simple brown tunic, um, probably a little too small for his rather large frame, uh, and some brown sandals. Oh, there, Siddick. He kind of looks to you, and he kind of looks around, and he kind of goes... Kind of wait, waits for a moment. Ah, okay. I see what... Uh, uh, Cardin! Uh, Wasn't he the pr priest dude? Mm-hmm. He was. Okay. Uh, why are you here? <laughs> I thought you were heading elsewhere. You were headed to Big Tree. No, you were heading to Mountain. Now you are at Big Tree. We were at Mountain. Now we're at Big Tree. Okay. <laughs> so why? <clears throat> sort of spat out here. <laughs> ah! Okay. I'm gonna let that one roll. <laughs> He's like, Dinoc. Dinoc opens his mouth. Carden says that. Dinoc closes his mouth. You know, I'm and just shrugs. I don't think that's how that works, but this is also Carden we're talking about. So, <laughs> regardless, what? By the way, meet Rock. That Rock. That is horrifying. 
Why is it here? It's cute. Yes, pet. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh. Dinoc oh, gets up, uh, pats, cool. pats the uh, dust and grass off his robe. If anything, we're more here for me. Point. Okay. How See, can I, I assist? Have a... uh, I. He kind of leans forward and he goes, uh, "How can I ass assist? I, 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 I'm sure the." Pixies have told you, but I am the speaker, the, or the champion of On, who uh, oh, in charge of this place. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Recently, we came across a piece of a spell. And I came across information that told me another piece was here. Hmm. Did this uh, information attempt uh, tell you where here? All I know is it showed me a large figure. Hmm. So it showed you on. <laughs> what is funny? Huh? Oh. You Sorry. I just I just thought of something while I'm I'm, I'm creating some potions, don't mind me. Neat. Uh, Excuse me, you <laughs> you fucking said fucking what? Hmm? It showed you on, I'm assuming, or you saw on? Come. And he begins walking past you guys and around, and kind of begins heading uh, around the tree. Okay, so you said it's, uh, well, uh, that's a big fucking guy. And this is on. Follow me, and I just walk after Cedric. <laughs> uh, as you guys, as you guys round the corner, and you see the big fuck off statue of made of wood, basically, he kind of gestures and he goes, "This is on, first defender of the mortal realms, and it's tree." Uh, it's actually what protects this area. His magic. There's an area uh, around the tree in so many directions that basically prevents any kind of demons, I guess, from coming in. And the area is very lush and bountiful for both human and uh, bestial uh, sustainment. So many things can live within his grace and protection. Is this what you saw? Uh, it's been two weeks, or it, yeah. it. This is the this is the the entity or person uh, that was shown to you by the boon of knowledge. Uh yes, that's pretty much exactly it. Well, unfortunately, on unfortunately, on does not do much speaking these days, as you can see, uh, as he g gestures to the uh, solidified form. There are a few ways that you could attempt to speak with him. Uh... There are a f there are a there are two that I am aware of that you can do in this current state of his. One is through like communing with on or one of the similar spells. 
personally, I do not have the necessary access. The other is to... I don't want to say feed, but... Allow... Allow some of your own magical energy to be borrowed by On, and it creates a telepathic bond. It's rather short, kind of depending on the the magic used uh, or the amount of magic used, but it can. It's definitely a way to communicate with him. Okay, out of game. I have to say this. Mm -hmm. I. So, want to do something. Oh, what is what is it you're wanting to do? And I really do? feel that Dinoch might be tempted. And what is that? Blight sixth level. Oh no! Oh, Here that is the physical representation of a god, and Dinoch. Hates. This is a choice that you can attempt to make. I know, and I'm sorry, Th I have to take a moment to think. Yeah, because this could have serious repercussions. Yeah. On everybody. And Dinoc understands that. I do believe through Dinoc's hate, he does understand now is not the time. But, will he ever get a chance like this again? And that is... That is what is ticking in Dinox's brain right now. There... I mean, you are welcome to do so. And the thing, and as I as I said, and and uh, Siddick said it himself as well. Technically, you are currently within the domain of On. <laughs> so, whatever that may entail, there are a number of different possibilities. Depending on what you choose to do, will depend on how things play out. Going uh, a little bit further. Mm hmm. I'm going to set a really hard DC on this and just roll straight D20. Okay. Hey, before, before you roll, Ten. I just want to mention Valinar is holding a hold person for if he sees Dinox start to cast the <laughs> spell. Okay, the DC was one or two for doing the bad thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Dinoch restrains himself. But he does say, if I had known this was the domain of a god, I wouldn't have even entered here. <laughs> you bear a lot of hate for... gods. They took and... my wife from me. Mm. I can understand that hatred. But I will tell you right now, On would not would, would not have been able to have helped you. On has never been able to hear, see, or do anything outside of his domain since the rise. He made this area what was he hoped to be a bastion of civilization and the final hope. And while he is a god, his range only extends to where the forest turns, uh, changes. The final, the final hope? Hmm? The final O? The final O? What? Just hope. The final hope. Yeah. Card is hmm. question. This is the area where the final... Stand, so so to speak, will probably take place. I believe that is his intention, or was his intention anyway. And he kind of looks at the 
the this remnant of a god. But his power is dwindling and it's fading. And he looks at you, Cardin, and he kind of goes, There's a temple here that, eh, not far from here, that has um, been consumed with corruption. The temple to On. One of his first temples, actually. And because of the corruption that lies within, his power is weakening. And his domain is getting smaller. Is there a way to remove the corruption? I believe if you can destroy the source, but the temple is a large one, and I believe it's at the heart. I am not in any condition to take on such a task. I'm too spread out. We could try and run How strong are the let me guess, demons in there? Ironically? No. But instead it's an undead nature. Eh. And you kind of hold your eyes for a moment. Um indeed knock and he goes. The antithesis of what, well, On and his. Uh, hold on, I don't want to. I don't want to fucking step on my own words. Give me one second to check my <laughs> pantheon. Uh. Mortis. Mortis. Mortem. Oh no! Uh, yeah. Um. No. 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 What? Um. No. 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 You got. No. You guys are. He uh he kind of goes, the the antithesis of what On and his lover st stands for. The undead plague his temple. You said they the gods took your wife by how. An uncurable disease. Every single temple I went to refused to heal her. And what can it be but a curse from the gods if even On's own temple refuses to see her? Hmm. To see us and spit on us. He kind of sticks his hand to his like chin, kind of thinking for a moment. His brow kind of furrows, and he kind of goes, "Hmm." And he turns and he steps towards the remain the remains of On, <clears throat> and he places a hand on like the large knee of the of the statue, and you can see. Uh, Dina especially can kind of see this pulse of magic that leaves um, uh, uh, Siddic and travels into this creature. And as he closes his eyes for a moment and he waits, then I gotta make another roll. Natural 20. <laughs> With advantage, thank God, because otherwise it would have been an 8. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but this is knowledge of a god, so I figured advantage would be would be warranted. Was not expecting a natural twenty though. <laughs> Never expecting that twenty. No, that only puts his total at like thirty five or something like that. You know, um, as you do. Siddic kind of opens his eyes and turns and kind of goes. Did you ever attempt to have her healed at a temple of Nock? The god of the god of trickery. K 
Okay. We're actually going to have to roll for that one. Because personally, I kind of feel like that might be a no because the god of trickery. <laughs> mm hmm. But this is your character. I'm not going to say anything. But also. Yeah. Yeah. I remember the wording on your story. So I'm going to let I'm going to let you decide. Real quick, I need to wrong button. Need to make sure of that. Mm. Yeah, I believe the wording was no temple or clerics or something like that would would heal. No her. medicine healed her. No spell cured her. And the priest who always advocated healing the sick refused to treat her. Ooh, that might be interesting because not because not ne not wouldn't necessarily always advocate healing. Obviously, they would. Yeah, they would, know, they would know how to heal, but they wouldn't necessarily advocate it. Yeah, hmm. that's interesting. But again, it's been how long since we start the campaign? Dinoc would have to think. Yeah, absolutely. I'll I'm I'm all for it. Hmm. Yeah, okay, yes. What temple would worship Na? Or as I know him, Anansi. He kind of goes, I think, and so does On, believes that this curse lies embedded within the will of Nock due to trickery. And he believed that eventually you would come to him for some reason or another. But apparently, judging from the anger in your eyes, that is not something you did. At least not as yet as of yet. No. Mm. No, I I delved into hmm. what we know as, what my people know as, a grave tender, a priest of the dead. Hmm. Mortem's domain. What, what people would know as necromancy. He kind so, of just nods almost sagely. Though not even Mortem had a hand in the priesthood of the dead, as we were the more a more scientific route. No, Anansi. I, I think, I think that is where your. Corey lies, and I'll give you another piece of information that I was made privy to years ago. Mortem, the god of death, he's dying and looking for a replacement. And that's where we're going to end the session tonight. <laughs> Holy shit! Whoa. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy. Dinox got a future as a god himself. <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't attack them. <laughs> I made a nice note in bright red where Dinoc almost ended our campaign. <laughs> uh, so. <Fair> enough. <laughs> <laughs> Just for memory's sake. Even if it didn't even actually happen. <laughs> yeah. Dinoc potentially ends campaign, episode 90. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't know if it would have ended. You guys would have definitely been in a very difficult fight. Oh, uh, yeah. But there would have been the possibility of surviving it. Now, 
if Dinoc truly did kill on, a couple of things would happen. One, you guys would rupture his domain, leaving you guys stranded in the Feywilds. Oh my Ooh. god. <laughs> and two, you would create a power vacuum within the Pantheon, giving a few people that might come to your mind that come to your mind a claim yeah. at the title of a full blown god. Oof. <laughs> that. I kind of almost wish I blighted then. Dude, do, do, don't get me wrong. I had plans. I made them up on the spot. But <laughs> uh, you were oh my. ready. I, I was. I Also, I've been sitting on that information about Mortem dying since episode one. <laughs> Ugh, this is the first time that I've had an opportunity to actually, like, this would make sense for him to know. <laughs> so, yeah, we, yeah, holy, holy shit. shit, guys. Ugh. Ah, well, everyone who is still here, <laughs> thank you all so much for joining us this week. Um, yeah, uh, it was a blast. I've I had a lot of fun with this episode. This episode was a lot of uh, heartfelt st or not 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 heartfelt, like a lot of fun uh, kind of stuff. And then there was also yep. a lot of a lot of information and intense stuff here. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh yeah, yeah when when i roll like a freaking maniac i mean natural 20 <laughs> oh, for yeah. natural 20 on on then and information that uh Siddick had either thought of asking or had had time to ask about uh rolling a natural 19 uh for somebody who has some really good bonuses and stuff like that you know that's a really high roll for him uh so yeah he's got a lot of information and if you would have blighted, you would have not gotten any of that. But um, join us next week um, as we find out what the party does from here. Um, and uh, and then from there, we'll be we'll be moving to a slightly alternated uh, schedule. Uh, we'll, I'll talk more about that next week. Um, that way we can get people out of here. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, and we all hope to see you guys in the next one. Good night, all. See you next time. Good night, everyone. Good night, y'all. <clears throat>